in which today we're going to talk about libguides and I'm going to show you how to find the libguides and then how to operate inside of them. So I am just I've just uh, typed in shelton.org slash library in the Google window. It's brought up the link to the home page so I'm going to click on the link to the library home page. And here we are at the library home page. So the way that we find the libguides it's not they don't it doesn't show up on any of these you have to open up the upper school resources. So open up your upper school resources and you will see the word libguides. Now each one of these, the lower school, upper elementary, and middle all have libguides as well. I'm just using the upper school one because that's the one I'm the most familiar with. So we're going to click on libguides and we're going to uh, today I'm, uh, I'm working right now on a libguide for English teachers on, um, let's see, where is English? Here it is, English Research Force. And the one we're doing is Mrs. and Mrs. Lee's assignment. And her assignments are here. And it's on Charles Dickens. So this is the page that I start out with for Charles Dickens. And these are, this is her assignment. This right here is the Word document that has the assignment. So you can click on that and it opens up the Word, the, uh, Word document that is the PowerPoint assignment. And each one of these Word documents, all you have to do is click on them and they open up to the document. So then Right here, this is we're going to come back to this one right here, but this is really important. We're going to come back. That's going to be where we do most of our research. These are books that we have in the library that are about the Victorian age and Charles Dickens. And then this page is all for Miss Lee's assignments. So she has another assignment with Frankenstein and uh, Canterbury Tales and Romeo and Juliet. So whatever assignment is her most recent is the one that is at the top of the libguide. So this is where her assignment is. Now it says right here, Victorians and Dickens databases and websites. So this is where you're going to be to do your actual research. So click on this link and it will take you to basically the Dickens and Victorians uh, libguide page. All right, over here are the subscription databases. These we pay for. It's all vetted information, and uh, it, these do citations for you. Notice I say up here, self-citing. So the great thing about these are, I'll click on one, Daily Life and History. This is a ABC Clio database, and we'll talk, let's type in here the Victorian age. I'm going to click on this article. So it's a nice long article about the Victorian age. It has an overview and it has a picture that you can use as well. It also will read aloud for you. So if you want to listen instead of reading, you can click listen and it will read it out loud to you. Okay, so what we'll do with this is we will um, go through this article and we will go through all of it all the way down to the end and at the end is the citation. So we'll copy that citation and we'll paste it onto our Works Cited page. So that is easy. All right. The next thing we'll do with this is that we will print this page. So we have to go by the icons up here and you can email this article to yourself, which is sometimes what I do. You can download it or you print it. And I, I, and I say for the students all to print their articles because they'll need to reread the articles and highlight them and take notes and study them in order to do their assignments. So I tell the students to print their articles. They've already done their citation and they print the article and that's the end of that we're through with with that database. There are other articles that we can use in this for the Victorian age, but I'm going to keep moving to take us to show some other things. 
So back at the LibGuide page, these are all the subscription databases. And we have lots of material on the, in the subscription databases. That would be where I would primarily look for my information. Then there are lots of websites about the Victorian age and about Dickens, but I have culled them all and I've found the ones that I think are the best. I've put them together under this web links page or box. And so, for example, this one is uh, BBC. So we'll open it up and it will give you information on an uh, overview of Victorian Britain, etc., her prime ministers, uh, major events in Victoria's reign. All this is great, but it does not cite for you. So you'll have to make the citation using the citation machine. Okay. Uh, these, all of these are working and clearly and uh, academically sanctioned websites. And you can use these for your research. Over here are videos that are streaming videos that you can watch. So if you want to watch the one on, De on Dickens's life, you can just click on it and it will open up and you can watch the whole, the whole video or you can watch it in sections. If you use any of the information from the video on your research, you can use, uh, you can cite it right here, do the citation. Again, it uh, does it for you to copy and you can copy it and paste it onto your works cited page. So I find it very helpful to use the videos that give you a lot of information. You can take notes as you watch and, and watch them and you can stop it and replay a section if you need to, to get the information. So they're very helpful. Okay, so this is the LibGuide. Now up here, up at the top, all these tabs are different LibGuides. Right here, this is just a generic English subscription database LibGuide. This is just basic English stuff. This is about plagiarism, about writing papers, and it gives you a lot of databases that are helpful for generic research. Canterbury Tales, Dickens, this is the one we just looked at, Poetry, Shakespeare. Now we get down towards the bottom here and we see the different teachers' assignments. So Miss Lee's assignments are all on her page. Miss McCord's, she has her own page with her, re her research assignments. Uh, Miss Rivers has her own page with her research assignments. And Miss Eckert has hers. So this is one that she did recently on the Russian Revolution. These are the books that she that we have in the library for it, and these are the subscription databases for it. So I think that's a, a, a pretty thorough explanation of the LibGuides, and uh, if you have any questions about any of them, please come and see me and I'll be glad to help you. These are all LibGuides that I made in response to teachers creating research projects. So this uh, some of the projects are one or two years old and some of them were just done last week. So we save them all in their different uh, LibGuides. It's all in alphabetical order so you can find whatever you need in uh, your subject area. Thank you.